Hi, uh, CIM C here. We're going to try to teach you how to make your first map in less than five minutes. Wish me luck. First thing we need is data. We're going to get that from the New Hampshire Secretary of State's website, sos.nh.gov backslash 18genresults.aspx. Just click on Governor, and eventually it will download. Open it up. Cell will open. It's in protected view, enable editing. All we need to do now is this count, copy the county data to a blank worksheet. Just mouse over from A4 to E15, hit Control C, hit File, open a blank workbook, hit Control V, and paste it there. Now, I noticed a problem when making this map before Rockingham has a space after it for some reason. Just go to A9 to leave the space after it, otherwise, you'll have a problem with the join. We need four columns to, to compute before we can uh, make a map. We need a total column. Just click total in, a, in, in F1 and hit equal sum. B2 to E2, close the parentheses. We need an R% percent column. That's just Sununu in B divided by F2. We need a D% percent column. That's just Molly Kelly divided by total, C2 divided by F2. And we need an R minus D column in the margin. Just take G2 minus H2. Now, so over that, hit Control C, copy to the bottom, hit Control V, hit File, Save, and we'll save it here as uh, New Hampshire 2020, 2018. Okay, it's saved. So we open up QGIS. This is the screen. We've got to uh, find my New Hampshire file, and you see New Hampshire Governor 2018. I actually saved it there before, and you also see the New Hampshire County shape file. Drag that to the screen as well. Now we have a map that shows up on the screen, but we need to join the data. Drag county below sheet if you have to. Double click on county uh, and select join. So on the menu, hit the plus sign. Governor 18 she shows up. Summary by county is what has the county name, so we select that as a drawing field. The target field is just name in any census file that, that has unique county names. Change the custom prefix or something shorter, like G18, and hit OK. Then we go to Symbology. We load the style file at the bottom, which is 5% uh, gradation heat. With gradation heat with zero, border and everything right upside, load that style file, change the value to G18R minus D, hit apply, and hit OK. Now you have a map. All you need to do is change the projection. To change the projection, you hit the globe icon on the bottom, and the reason you need is because New Hampshire is too fat. We hit that, we search for New Hampshire. And you can see the horn because I've used it recently, but it's also down here if you don't see it up top. Just click that and hit apply. And now you have a map of New Hampshire that pretty looks, pretty looks pretty good. To export it to a simple image, all you have to do is hit project, uh, import, export, export map to image, and then save. And then you can save it as what you want to save it as. Once you're done with saving, you want to save the project by hitting this. Always save the project because QGIS tends to crash. Uh, you go to just files New Hampshire thing for this so I can find it. And save it as New Hampshire 2018. And that's it. You now have your first map. Okay, leave any questions you have in the comments and uh, thank you for watching.